Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Um, I have a migraine, so uh, bear with me. I might repeat things or not make any sense. But um, <clears throat> today I want to tell you the story of my first dreadlock. Um, because there actually is a story. It's not just like, yep, I got my first dreadlock. It was great. But um, there's actually kind of a lot. So I wanted to tell you because it's kind of interesting, at least to me. Um, okay, so my sophomore year of high school, um, maybe like in the middle, um, uh, I had two friends, um, still friends with one of them, sort of, um, so like two and a half years ago maybe, um, one of the friends made a dreadlock right here and one friend made one right there, so like on the nape of my neck on the corners, um, and... Uh, I loved them. I, they were really thin um, because I wanted to eventually have like 70 dreadlocks or something. I have like a bunch of really thin ones instead of like a bunch of a uh, few fat ones. So, um, so yeah, um, I would like try to maintain them all the time. I would palm roll them after a shower and I would um, like crochet hook them a lot. And before I got the dreadlocks, I would always play with this hair in the in the same place where that one dreadlock was. Um, and so I would play with that hair and um, it would it would make it fall out because I would play with it that much. And so I had like really short hair there and my hair was like, I can't even show you, it was like this long. Um, and uh, so it was like pretty short hair I think maybe like that long mostly and um, so the dreadlock was pretty short and um, I would play with that hair I would like put my finger um, by my scalp and like pull down and sort of like unbrush the hair by my scalp and um, please ignore my birds I'm sorry um, and so I would like have like straight hair and then like a lump of a dreadlock at the end and then like a little bit of hair after, but um, it was awful. And I would also play with that hair so much and I would think that there were hairs that had gotten into the dreadlock and had like fused to the side. So then I would pull those out of the dreadlock, um, which would mess it up because they were supposed to be in there. Um, so that messed it up. And then, um, I don't even remember what the one on this side was doing. Um, it wasn't that exciting. I would mostly play with this side, so that one got messed up the most. And so then, um, I, um, I'm sorry. Um, then I, like, resectioned it and stuck the hair, um, of that section to the, like, to the dreadlock. Um, which sort of worked, but... It didn't really work um, because there was so much loose hair then. I hope that makes sense. But um, and I like tried to stick some of those the like loose hairs into the um, the like part that I had sort of unbrushed at the root, and then I was self-conscious about it being really short because it wouldn't fit into my hair binder, and then it would um, into like my ponytail. So then it would just sort of like hang down on my neck. And, um, and so then I attached the hair on my brush to the end with a crochet hook, so that added, like, this, this much length, probably. Um, so, the dreadlock looks ridiculous at this point. And, um, but then I dreaded my whole head and I didn't really care, um, because they all looked really stupid. <laughs> um, I actually have the same dreadlocks, so... They look just as stupid as they did then. But um, then I shaved this side of my head, so that got rid of seven dreadlocks, and then I put those dreadlocks onto other dreadlocks that I had left, um, including that number one dread. That's what I call it, my first dread, num my number one dread. I attached it to like a really short dreadlock. Um, that was really short because I tried to split a fat dreadlock in half, but then it sort of like ripped, and then I wouldn't recommend doing that. But um, then 
it was just like this really short dreadlock so then I figured I would attach the two really short dreadlocks and make a longer dreadlock um and so but then I took out all my dreadlocks um and had like longer hair on top and like shaved on the sides so um I like cut off like the at the intersection where the short uh dreadlock and the number one dread were so it didn't actually gain any length it's still really short um and then uh i kept all of those dreadlocks in a jar for like 13 months or like a year or something and now i put them back in <sighs> and so i still had that number one dreadlock i could totally tell which one it was because it looked so silly and here it is i put it back in the same place hope you can see it i don't know but um I tried to put it back in the same place and um and it actually fell out because there was like so many extensions basically it was like the first dread that was just like this little bump which you might actually be able to see it's like from here to there it's like this little section right here um I don't know if you can see it I'm sorry and then uh, it fell out because my hair is really short. Um, it's like all this blue, so it's really short. It's like this long. And um, so it didn't stay in. And then that was a few days ago, so then I just put it back in and I actually sewed it in. And then uh, crochet hooked it in. So hopefully it'll stay in. Um, and hopefully it'll start to grow. <laughs> eh, I don't know. But um, yeah. So that's basically the story of my first dreadlock, my number one dread, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely think it's really funny um, how it was here, then it was there, and then it was here, and then it fell out, and now it's here again, and it's like sewed in, and I think that's really funny, and it still is like the shittiest dreadlock, um, <laughs> but I think it's really funny. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this story, um, and subscribe to like see it progress I guess um I upload every day um and I don't know what else my brain isn't working very well but yeah oh I'm freeforming the top so if you think freeform dreadlocks are cool stay tuned and uh have a good day bye